Welcome everyone to another lesson of the eight palms of the Yin Fu Bagua Zhang. Uh, this is going to be the third palm, uh, which is the snake and hawk palm. Uh, again, it's another beautiful day here in Minnesota. There, there, there may be a sprinkle. If there's a sprinkle, I might have to cut this short. But uh, if, if so, I'll just uh, I'll, I'll film I'll finish filming it uh, either inside or another day. But for now, I'm going to take a look at this uh, third um, palm change. The third palm change has a different guard. So the guard you've been working is called the wild goose leaves the flock. This one, the the front the top palm is facing you. This one's called. Either the heavenly horse walks in the void, or the heavenly horse walks from the void. If I'm just going to... If I'm just going to start with a number three, um, from the hide the flowers, I'll just do the heavenly horse. If I'm doing the palm changes in a row, or, you know, in order, um, when I get to my last last double palm, so the second palm is the double palm. When I get to the last one and I want to go to three, I'm going to change the guard so that my first um, movements come from this guard, as opposed to you know sometimes we make a mistake and then we we got to do it from there and you know there are worse things that can happen in life, but um, it's a good way. It's a it's a nice uh, uh, mental focus to keep your clarity. Okay. I, I'm done with the second palm, and I'm going to prepare the guard for when I do the third palm. And you're going to see that from now on. Um, there's going to be a, quite a few different guard changes. So if I start from the very beginning, lean on the horse to inquire the way, hide the flower beneath the leaves, the heavenly horse walks in the void. And now eight steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see it. So right now, you, your angle is the center of my circle. This is called the white snake coils its body. When you have your thumbs out, that's a standing palm. When you lay your thumbs in, that's called an ox tongue, ox tongue palm. So as soon as you turn, you're going to make ox tongue palms. So you're going to turn, toe in or hook in, circle, and then down. This palm is just going to shoot parallel to your body, palm up. That's called the white snake coils its body. So from the eighth step, toe in. Close up your thumbs. You don't have to do anything with your hands. Just close up your thumbs. Now you want to make a circle that goes down your center. Centering step. And then down. The next movement is called the hawk, sparrows up to heaven. You're going to change into a bow stance. Drop your top hand down and spiral your front hand up. That's part one. Now I'm gonna turn my back to the center, which is your view, and make a nice big character eight stance mm -hmm. and bring the bottom hand, the right hand, up and on the outside. So I'll show you that from, from the back here. This one is up, and this one is up. So those two together, up and up, that's the Sparrow hawk or the hawk spirals to heaven. Now we've got another version of the white snake coils its body. We're going to turn. Right hand over the head. This left hand is going to be at your hip. The first time it was up by your armpit. Now it's going to be by your hip. And then down again. And now very simply, embrace the moon. Hide the flower and the heavenly horse, and now I'm on the other side. So I'm gonna come around the corner here for you. Lean on the horse to inquire the way. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. Heavenly horse walks in the void. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The white snake coils its body. The hawk spirals up to heaven. The white snake coils its body. Embrace the moon. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. And the heavenly horse walks in the void. And then the other side. Now I'm just going to do uh, two steps. One, two. The white snake coils its body. The hawk spirals up to heaven. The white snake coils its body. Embrace the moon. Hide the flower beneath the leaves. Now if I'm going to end, if I'm done, which I am, I'm going to do the heavenly horse walks in the void, and then conclusion. If I'm done with the third palm, which is the snake and hawk palm, and I'm going to go on, the palm, the guard for number four, will go back to the wild goose leaves the flock. And you could end on the wild goose leaves the flock. Even if you were, you were done with your third palm, you weren't going to do any more, you could do a wild goose leaves the flock and a conclusion. So that's, that was, this one's got some really fun uh, applications. When I get to the applications, I'll uh, give you some ideas for that. And uh, I'll stop. Remember, if you get dizzy, either go the other way or jump up and down. Okay, so some simple ideas for the third palm, for the heavenly horse guard. It's, that is, on one level, it's just simply a block. It's just a block. And after the block, I can hit. So I can do the block and the hit. Or uh, I do the block. And if I hit and she blocks, I can just add number one. Remember from number one to one force and draw the ball. Um, the heavenly horse can be an arm bar for like a push. You can use the, the uh, hide the flower. And then this is an arm bar. The white snake close to the ground is two high blocks. And then this is a palm to the groin. Next up. But if she grabs that hand, then I'm going to use the hot spirals to heaven as an arm bar. And then I'm going to use the white snake coils as a body as a takedown. Those single movements against a, a bag or a post, 
And then also we have simple applications. You can do them at home, you can put the combinations together, and you can find the you can find like the natural counters. It's, you know, it's, it's it's kind of fun to string it all together, but really a lot of the separate parts might they might uh, connect with a, a, a different movement from a different poem change. So there's some applications for free.